a really quick, easy video today. Um, this is how to rip discs to your Xbox, uh, your original Xbox, once it is modded. So, what we're going to do first, um, I've actually already got quite a few games on here. Not really quite a few, I guess. I think there's only like 11 or 12, but... And then we also have some emulators. And so here's our list of games. Anyways, yeah, there's, there's quite a few games on here. So anyways, we're going to add one more. Now, I configured everything to the F partition, um, which there looks like, looks to be about 33 gigabytes left. So, uh, if you look at the bottom there, um, you know, you'll see DVD, it says MT, we'll go ahead. And this drive likes to stick a little bit, so... is when there's not discs inserted into most Xboxes, uh, it just, you know, doesn't want to open. So we'll go ahead, close it, it is now initializing, so here comes the easy part, all you do is you scroll down, to uh, system here, go to miscellaneous, and this is where you can start and stop FTP. For some reason I can't land on the miscellaneous, there we go. And then you just go down to the bottom here, copy game disk. Now it's copying from D, I have it going to games in the F drive. The way to avoid it going to the E partition, uh, because you know, nine times out of ten, um, you know, nine times out of ten, your E partition's only going to be, you know, about eight gigabytes because that, you know, eight to ten, depending on which hard drive you have, if you've got the Seagate or the Western Digital. Um, but anyways, eight to ten gigabytes, um, four of it, about four or five of it is used for all your files and everything. Um, so I just went ahead and went into the E partition and deleted the games folder um, because that way it automatically sends it to the F partition games folder, um, you know, instead of E because F had, well, had 80 gigabytes free. Um, but so anyways, uh, you, you know, this is the video here. Basically, once this is done, all you have to do is reboot your Xbox. Make sure you eject the disk um, or else, you know, it'll boot, you know, boot right into the disk. But, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stop the video for now, I will pick it back up when it is done, when I'm rebooting the Xbox, and um, you know, we'll take a look at our new game. Alright, so it looks like we are done. And um, so, just give me one second here, let me get back. As you can see, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX is not on here. So, we'll go ahead, reboot the system. Oh, oops. And then I forget to eject the drive there. <laughs> so, was about to boot into the game. And so now, if we go down here, Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. And that's all there is to it, guys. If you have Unleash X dashboard installed, uh, the skin doesn't matter. Um, everything is the same, basically. So if you go back to the home screen here, it's going to have all of this same stuff on the regular dashboard that you guys will be seeing. Same file path, same everything, just a different look. 
So I am going to go ahead and stop this. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did like the video, go ahead and, you know, like the video. And don't forget to subscribe. There will be more videos coming. I just ordered the um, NAND clip to downgrade PS3, so hopefully that'll be, you know, new videos in a week. Hopefully. But, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this, guys. Thanks for watching.